Hey, what's up everybody? Today's video topic is about a useful extension of VS Code, which is the live server extension. VS Code is today's one of the most popular and preferred editors for coding. If you already know my channel from my previous videos, I am also using it personally and I find it pretty cool. Using VS Code is free. It has a clean interface and countless extensions, which make programming easier for us. And one of its most helpful extensions is the live server extension. Many people are asking about it, like while I'm writing code, how does the browser get refreshed automatically without clicking the reload button? And this is made by the live server. And in this video, I would like to show you guys how to install and configure a live server to the VS Code. But before we begin, if you are here for the first time, Consider subscribing to my channel and activate your bell notifications so when I upload a new video, you will get notified. Okay, so if you are working or going to work with the VS Code, the live server extension will be one of the first things you should install. Before beginning with that, if you don't have VS Code yet on your computer, firstly you can download it here from its official website. I have put down the link in the description part of this video, you can find it there. And you can choose from here one of the suitable download options for your operating system. After you download and install VS Code, you should be able to see a view like this once you start the program. On the left side, as you see, there are a couple of icons and one of them is the extensions button. Just click on this button and here you will see my already installed extensions. Otherwise, if you don't have them yet, you can type here, for example, live server. And you will see many options here. You can choose a suitable one for your system. I am currently using the live server by Ritwik Day. As you can see, it's already installed. You can also check its documentation from here for more. And to install it, just click on the install button. Okay, so after installing the live server extension, the next step is to create an example or an empty HTML page. So we will have at least a page to view on our local host. This time we need to click on this files button at the very top and choose this icon with the plus icon for creating a new file. And let's type index.html. Okay, now our HTML file is ready. I have split my screen into two pieces and once I make a change here, after starting the live server, you should be able to see the changes here. Now after you create your HTML page and installed the extension, then you should be able to see a go live button right below on this blue field. And if you don't see that, then just restart VS Code and try again because sometimes the configurations may require a restart. So now to start our live server, just click on the go live button. And as you can see, now my live server has started. Let's move this here. Okay, now let's type our doc type. And to do that, I click on this exclamation mark, then enter, and then VS Code do this automatically. Then I type HTML and then inside a body tag. Now let's test this. I type here some text like hello. Now as you can see, it's here. Now I, I type hello world, save it again, and it's here again. I delete this one and save again. Now it's gone. So it's working without any problems. If you have reached this step, congratulations. Now we can work with the live server. Otherwise, if you guys are still having issues, then I've added an additional blog post for more details about this live server issue. You can find it on the description part below. So I hope you guys you find this video helpful and if you do, please hit the like button and thank you guys for watching.